So for example, five, uh, we, I think this is a pretty accurate representation. If the mean height of all pro basketball players is 81 inches, and 81 inches is six feet nine, six feet nine inches, and the standard deviation is three inches. So the standard deviation is three inches. Between what two heights would the majority of the players be? Now the majority, again, it are going to be, uh, the majority is going to be somewhere uh, less than or equal to uh, standard deviation uh, mean plus two standard deviations, and it's going to be greater than or equal to uh, the mean minus two standard deviations. And so this, this is our key kind of understanding. Where's my red? Oh, there it is. So this is the key to understanding the majority. This is the normal range of values that uh, you would get when you're uh, collecting data. And so let's take a look and see what that means. Uh, we, we can put, draw a number line, and we can put 81 inches as the standard deviation, or sorry, as the mean. And we know, again, that the standard deviation is three inches. And so if we add three plus three, and we get 84 inches. And if we add three more, we get 87 inches. And if we subtract three, subtract three and subtract three, minus three and minus three, then we get 78 inches and then 75 inches. So 75 inches is what, six foot three, six foot three inches tall, and uh, 87 inches is seven foot, seven feet, three inches tall. So most NBA players, according to this statement, uh, if these numbers are true, 81 inches is the mean and standard deviation is three, then most NBA players would fall between seven, three, uh, six, three and seven, three. Uh, there are outliers, and outliers would lie outside, unusual, so 88 inches. Would a height of 88 inches be unusual? Well, 88 inches is, is outside of the 88 inches is greater than the mean plus two standard deviations. And again, the mean plus two standard deviations, that's 87. So we would say yes, yes, therefore, Yes, and so that's how you answer these questions. If you're asked to find is, uh, if a number of inches is, is the height of an NBA player a normal value, then all you would have to say is, yeah, it's normal if it's in between uh, these two numbers, and it's unusual uh, if it's outside. And there were two NBA players that, that come to mind. One guy, his name was Manute Bull. Manute Bull was seven feet six inches tall. Uh, one of the tallest guys, I think maybe Yao Ming was 7'7". Seven, seven. Uh, and then we had a guy named Spud Webb, Spud Webb, who could also dunk a basketball, and he was 5 feet 7 inches tall. So these two clearly were outliers, uh, and um, they were unusually either short or tall compared to other NBA players. So I think one more video, and that will do it for example 7. That's it.